Welcome to Media Pool. For this video essay, I will analyse my videos in relation to Burger Steps model. In planned and produced, the video achieving the most success with those achieving social currency. Obviously, this draws attention to Media Geek, teaching audiences of the hypodermic needle theory, which will be analysed later within this video. On the other hand, the video not as successful as Media Society. Perhaps the result of the nicheness of the video in question, I chose to record the current guard protests happening at Merseyrail and refined to the northwest of England, this will also be discussed further. In particular, I will discuss my videos with relation to granite vetters, strong and weak ties, with the success of my videos the result of strong ties particularly. This enables a video to pass freely between friends and family who may later share the videos too, proving beneficial to the success of my viral videos. Drawing on Nathan and Hemsley's life cycle of a media event, I will also demonstrate how my videos show different levels of user engagement. For example, in my chosen videos as a media society, I tell the story of myself trying to use public transport to find their striking, and in the case of Media Geek, emphasise social currency by teaching audiences of the hypodermic needle theory. Working to Burger's Steps framework, there's some finds if a video contains a story it will be more entertaining, and if another contains social currency, people may share the video to make them appear clever. Strengthening its commercial visibility by offering them smart information that audiences may choose to share on. All of which adding to the success in understanding why my videos were shared. Stories too are helpful as audiences are able to remember the video with much greater ease, adding to the shareability in passing a story to others. So as they stand, indeed they feature various calls to action and signposts. Trying to be as clear as possible, I signpost those watching towards the Merseyrail website to find out further information in regards to the next strike days. Complemented with calls to action, later in the video I urge those watching to a petition on Just Change, which hyperlinked at the very end asks audiences to sign to keep guards on trains. The Media Geek video, on the other hand, featured a call to action to report back your understanding of the subject, and a signpost as well to Revision World to find out further information. All videos were also given a call to action to like, subscribe, and comment, increasing their chance of user engagement as well. Using Facebook and Twitter for promotion, it is also clear that views were founded on Granovetta's strong and weak ties. A matter of networking, throughout the promotional stage I regularly posted links to my videos and over time views were generated. With an in-mind target audience, those attending educational establishments for the Media Geek video and slightly older audiences, those 25 and above, for the Media Society video, I believe this worked excellently. The reason behind this, my belief that not only was I promoting my videos to those in education so I needed a younger audience, and to older audiences perhaps reliant on Merseyrail to get to their workplace. At the time of this recording, a total of 221 views, 17 likes, two shares and two user comments were gained for the Geek video. And to reach this audience sought the assistance of YouTube's Lev Vsauce, an educational channel, even though no further success was achieved. The life cycle of my Media Geek video, according to Nathan and Hemsley, peaked immediately with an estimated 60 views upon first publishing the video to the channel. The decay phase follows this period with the video being watched less until the 20th of December. At this point, following promoting the video on Facebook, I saw a revival within the video of an estimated 10 additional views each day, proving advantageous in generating more clicks to the channel. Worth noting is due to promoting late at night, 10pm. The video initially did not see many clicks until the following day. So come the 21st, I saw this revival commence as you can see within the graph. The video stabilised once more until the 22nd, declining once more over Christmas when many were spending time with family. Interestingly, I noticed a smaller revival on the 24th, but to reiterate was short-lived the result of Christmas. Further revivals can be seen here, with the former also being considered the afterlife phase. Gender information showed the majority of viewers watching my Media Geek video were female. The ages of those watching were also between 18 and 24 years old, which might have been the result of sharing the video to friends also attending education, and the fact that the Media Geek video is targeted to youth audiences attending education precisely. Furthermore, the majority of views based in the UK were driven by sharing the video to Facebook that utilised Granovetta's strong ties via friends and family. Interestingly, is there also views from Australia, Iceland, Switzerland, and many others too evidencing that perhaps weak ties are present with the video being shared to Twitter followers allowing the video to spread across multiple different groups. This is good because whereas Facebook friends or strong ties may create a bubble, to combat this I also shared my video to Twitter as well, to many irrelated groups, which using weak ties had meant my videos were no longer refined to a small number of individuals equating to greater exposure.
if I were to tweak my promotion, I would promote the video further to lecturers and those attending educational establishments in hopes that my video would be used to the benefit of others. Although initially the videos do not show many comments, one in particular left on my Media Geek video shows great success. This, compared to my Media Society video, evidences great engagement with the video topic, proving the call to action was successful in the Geek video with viewers reporting back their findings. Social currency then, an element of Burger Steps model may therefore be in place, and might also mean the video is likely shared to others as evident by receiving two shares. The Media Society video on the other hand, did not achieve any shares hindering its view count in comparison achieving 147 views, 10 likes and 1 comment. In comparison to my Media Society video on Merseyrail, the vast majority of viewers are from the UK. This is to be expected as being refined to one country, it would not have as significant a global exposure in comparison to my Media Geek video. The ages of those watching are also between 25 and 34 years old, which successfully achieve the target demographic age-wise of those attending workplaces, thus showing an older audience in comparison to my Media Geek video. The gender of those watching, mostly male, is perhaps not as relevant to this video, but nonetheless promised diversity and appealing to diverse interests with Media Geek showing the majority female. Better still, with a comment left expressing strong user engagement, this too evidences Burger's Steps model. As whereas Media Geek may invoke emotions such as awe through learning, my Media Society video may invoke excitement in grouping together to keep guards on trains. Thus, both videos may have evidence encouragement to share, even though only one actually benefited. Perhaps the result of the latter being a more controversial topic. Again, if I were to tweak my promotion, I would send the video to institutions within close proximity to the Merseyrail network. As whereas Media Geek may span global educational establishments, the Media Society video is produced to ensure transportation remains within a very defined region, just showing some of the considerations I have to make. Furthermore, Nathan and Hemsley's life cycle My Media Society video evidences more frequent revivals, which compared to my Media Geek video is strange as the latter had more views. This might be the result of the revivals being smaller, but I found for example the video had been published and consistently growed until the 22nd of December, peaking later in the day. Upon this, the video hit the decay phase where views were dropping, but once again on the 24th of December noticed another revival, with the video achieving more views than previously. This might be explained with the social media promotion scene here, but afterwards the video decayed once more, again the result of Christmas with many inactive. With additional revival seen here, often the result of posting the video to Facebook friends with strong ties, the video increased in views regularly. As a result, the following difference is evident. I would also wonder whether my revivals would have been larger had my videos been picked up on and promoted by an influencer. As you can see here, where both videos were largely unsuccessful in capturing their attention even though attempts were made. From this analysis, I conclude that the video which achieved the most success was Media Geek. Media Society, on the other hand, was perhaps not as successful, whereby promoting the video on Facebook and Twitter, Granovetta's argument of strong and weak ties is perhaps most prominent. The calls to action were also highly successful, where in Media Geek a comment was left reporting back their understanding of the hypodermic needle theory. Such was perhaps not as successful in Media Society, where no one signed the petition. Nonetheless, if you'd like to know more about Burger Steps framework, allow me to draw your attention to the link in the description down below. And of course, produce some videos yourself and report back your findings. This has been me, Andrew, for Media Pool. Thanks for watching.